Good morning, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Let's see, market opens up here in 23 minutes. Been watching WIMI, tried trading a couple times, I say try, it, it's difficult. Uh, first trade, got a partial fill, won 500 shares, only got 420, which you see right there for those of you unfamiliar with my screen. <laughs> Second time, I wanted 500, but as you can see right there, only got 80. So got 80 of the 500 shares I wanted to short. Uh, so both were profitable trades, but the first one was a situation where I kind of just needed to wave the white flag. It wasn't behaving like I thought it was, and, and I mean, to I suppose pat myself on the back. I chose properly because I got out at eight, uh, 54, and now the thing is currently up here flirting with you know the $9 mark. And then the second one, like I said, uh, got short at 9.15, dropped down to nine, and I was looking to maybe play it a little bit more than that, but with 80 shares, it was just a situation of, you know, is it really worth my time to sit here with 80 shares when you wanted 500? So I just took the, you know, got out at $9, and so I'm up $16 on a WIMI. I don't know if I wanna trade this one or not, just because, now, when the market officially opens, right now this is all pre-market trading, and for those of you beginners out there, it is actually possible to trade before, uh, you know, the 9:30 a.m. Eastern time, which is, you know, when when you, I remember when I was new, I always thought, oh yeah, the markets open up at 9:30 a.m., so therefore that's when you can start to trade. But no, there's certain brokers out there that will give you access to what's known as pre-market trading, and then also after-hours trading. Uh, but that's what's going on right now here. But I mean, this one is crazy. Right there you can see going on 11 million shares already and, and like I said, technically speaking, the market hasn't even opened. But still very hard, even with all that volume, all these partial fills, and it's not like I wanted 5,000 shares, I, just 500 shares and it still wouldn't even give me that. So I, I'm keeping that in the back of my mind. Little skeptical of it, I'll keep an eye on it. Um, might still trade it, but you know, just something that I'll have to keep in mind moving forward. Now I have no idea if this will happen, but I kinda wanna just map out my thoughts here, and in doing so, it accomplishes a couple things. It'll show you my thoughts, and then also show you kinda how the, not kind of, it will show you how the, the private community that I offer works. So WIM, I will, let me first set up a little context. Here is the watch list that I just made to members of the community. And then what I like to do is go through, uh, you know, the ticker symbols, and then offer up, in, you know, price levels that I'm watching. So for this one, WIMI, and like I said, I don't know if, it'll, if this level will ever happen, 750, very interesting pullback point if it happens. So right there, 750 just marked out as a level where if it can pull back to that area, then you know, at that point, very well could be a nice little buy entry. Uh, and But that's what I do. I'm just, I'm not gonna take you through each and every one of these, but just to give you an idea of how the, the system and how the, you know, the community works is give the watch list and then talk about, you know, certain ones and the, the, the price levels that get through them and which I'll be watching. So just like I said, a quick little, behind the scenes, if you will, of that. But yeah, we'll see if this pulls back to 750. If it does, then I'd be interested in it. But there does seem to be quite a few other movers out there. Um, so I'll try to juggle as many things as possible. Another one of these I'm liking quite a bit, so I just figured I'd get it documented here because if this thing goes, I think it has a great chance. So there we go, R-E-T-O, right here, looking for that 190 as a key upside breakpoint. Um, and then of course you have these other alerts here that I've been going through also, but yeah, 190 looks very, very interesting, which goes to show, I mean, stocks of all prices, right? I mean, so we cover it all. Here's Boeing, a stock that's up over $150. Then we're talking about RETO, a stock below $2. So as far as variety, yeah, there's something definitely for everybody, because I don't, I don't really care about the price. I care about the odds. What do I believe? gives me an edge, puts the, puts the you know, odds in my favor where it's no longer a gamble, right? Because if uh, you know a casino had games where the odds were actually in your favor, then that wouldn't be very smart for them. So there's always a slight, slight edge that they give themselves. Where in trading, I'm looking to do the exact opposite. I want to find situations where I feel as though I have an edge. So and I don't really care about price uh, levels. Now, of course, I do to an extent. I'm not going to go trade some sort of triple zero penny stock, but you know, within the general you know kind of just framework of things, I really don't care that much about price. So we'll see what happens. Let's see, market opens up here in seven minutes. And one final, final time, just for good measure, let's watch this one, WAFU, upside break point. So 850, we'll be watching that one very closely here on the open. Now this one can definitely move quicker compared to uh, WIMI, just watching that, seems to be more volatile and uh, maybe the fills will be a tad bit more easy. That remains to be seen, but yeah, 850, that's a very interesting level on that one. And now market now opens in five minutes. 
Market opens up in less than two minutes. Was gonna watch WAFU out of the gates, but this one has fallen off quite a bit. Um, so 8.50, at least at this point, doesn't seem to be in play any longer. Uh, so that's why you always gotta, you know, wise to wait for some sort of confirmation because yeah, that 8.50 break, I mean, never even came close to happening as of right now. Uh, so like I said, I think I'll probably be watching something else now out of the opening gates. I just gotta figure out what that is. Markets are open, decided to watch Boeing out of the opening gates, but a very, Markets basically open with no gap at all, which is very rare. So hard to know what direction things might wanna actually be going. Um, this is the one minute time frame here. So I'm just letting the first minute play out. I need to give myself a little bit of context here. You do hear typing because again, that is where the alerts are at. So I'm just watching other things right now, making alerts in the chat room while I try to watch this and talk to you. All right, getting a little bit of context here. So one, there we go, all right. Makes it a little bit easier. One, no, don't go, wow. So f very spready. Thing is all over the place. What is that, 170, 170 though? Looks kind of interesting if it can hold again. It did. There we go, 170, 170. Just alerted to the chat room. In there at 171.70, I think this thing wants to fail to the downside. So we'll see if it wants to do that or not. But if it decides to go up over 172.50, I will have to be out, but like I said, I. Well, that wasn't the greatest candle to just see form there. Well, oh wow, all right. Well, this thing is really moving up. I'm gonna let this thing settle down here for a second. In fact, if it comes back down here, I may look to add, if it looks like it wants to break through 172, because that was a, just a ridiculous move there. Especially if I can get a, a nice little candle here to form. So adding there at 172.06, so I now have 800 shares. Let's see if we can get this thing to actually move to the downside now and break that 170.170 mark. There we go. Can we get, there we go. All right, have 200 shares left. This could still be a losing trade. Let's see if we can get some more follow through to the downside though. I have no problem admitting my read. This thing is all over the place. So just 100 shares now. If it goes up over 172, I'll be out of the remaining 100 shares. Yeah, this one, as you saw, very, very jumpy. If it can break down through 171, look to pull out 50 more shares. Let's see if it can get down through that level. There we go. So out there for another 50 shares, now I have 50 shares left. So now I'm in a great spot, a situation where it's not if I make money, it's how much money am I gonna make. And as traders, that is the, goodness, that is the ultimate spot we wanna be in. So if this thing goes up over 171.50, I'll just take out my remaining 50 shares, use a mental stop. But if this thing wants to keep on moving down, well then fantastic. So again, let me repeat that. It's not, right now, it's not if I make money in the trade, it's how much money am I gonna make. And as traders, that is truly the ultimate spot to be in. All right, I'm gonna move my stop loss now here to 171.27, and I'm just gonna to start to bring this down. So if we break down through 17, that's close enough. So 171.01 now. All right, gonna bring that down to 170.77. So again, truly a great, great spot to be in. 
because I have no idea how much money I'm gonna make. But now it's just, let's let this thing work for me. Now yes, if you're saying the same thing as me in hindsight, why didn't I, why didn't I hold on to more shares, Clay? Why didn't I hold on to more shares? I'm saying the exact same thing myself. Well, there we go, $358 or $56 on that trade. And to think of it, I could have gotten shake, shook out right there, uh, but you know, there, there's certain things and I, I, I can't go down to the, the rabbit hole too far here, but I'll say this. Right over here, level twos are what these are called. You need to learn how to use them. You must learn how to use them. Now, are they a perfect tool? Are they the holy grail? Are they gonna make you a millionaire overnight? I'm not saying that. Nothing is perfect. There's no such thing that can predict the future or anything like that. But are they a tool that's giving you an edge, that helps you out? Yes, absolutely. Think back to the beginning of the video. What did I say? Don't really care about prices. I care about what I believe to give me an edge. And in this situation, the level twos is what kept me in that trade and gave me that edge. I mean, think about it. I, I could have been bailing out right there, right before the move happened. But also, to be fair, and on the note of nothing is perfect, level twos also had me a little bit worried, which is why I started to scale out of the position, in hindsight, much quicker than I should have. So I mean, that's what it's always give and take, right? And you know, th there's no such thing as a perfect tool. So because of level twos, like I said, I got more aggressive than I should have. Granted, this is all hindsight. Had Boeing just all of a sudden, you know, ripped back upside, then I'd be saying, see, level twos also told me when to get out. So always a give and take, but my primary objective here is that you gotta give yourself an edge. I give myself as a trader, or I give myself an edge as a trader in two ways. First way, right here, this is what is called the technical chart. These are what are called candlesticks. So candlestick technical charting, and then to combine that over here, as I already talked about, the level twos. Well, it's 9.30, let's see, when did I get out of that trade? I actually got stopped out at 9.35. So we'll just call it basically five minutes in. Five minutes, $356. I'm actually quite happy with that, although, oh, and then, as an update there. So going back to the chat room, how does it all work? Well, you can see, i pretty sure I, the video was, yeah, the video was playing while, I, so you heard me type this up, I didn't quite show up, but right there, there it is, 171 flush point. You can see right there, I got it right at 171. Now flush meaning down, right? When you think of the word flush, what direction do you think of? Hope you're saying down. Um, and for those of you that are new, this is just going short, meaning, believe it or not, in the markets, you can make money when prices go down, which you just saw right there. So totally bizarre, I get it. But the first time you hear it, you're like, wait, what a sec, wait a second. You can make money when prices go down? Yep, you absolutely can, and you just witnessed it right there. So that's what I alerted, 17170, so congratulations to all you members out there. Uh, wow, quite the bounce. A very big bounce indeed. Uh, 17150, do I wanna take that? Do I wanna take that? Uh, context, I'm happy, I mean, right now I'm up, 370 bucks, it's not even 10 minutes into the day. So, now I'm gonna go go ahead and pass it by. Now I'm not gonna take this trade, but let, let's see how uh, it could play out for members of the community. So right now I've made the most recent alert on Boeing as a 173.50 short with a stop over 174.50, so risking around a dollar per share. Now, in the proper money management sense, Assuming, assuming, of course, people took the, the first alert with the 170, uh, 170 or one, what was it, 170, 170 flush, people should be in the green right now, right? You just saw me tr trade it. I mean, you could have screwed up a whole bunch on the trade and still walked away green. So at this point, members should still be in the spot where, you know what, even if they're wrong, even if they take it, by reducing position size, they should still be able to walk out away. Now, as of right now, there's been no trigger on it. So, I mean, the members haven't even had the, um, you know, the chance to get in. But like I said, just wanna, you know, we'll see how this plays out. And again, within the context of my current trading right now, I'm not gonna take it just because I'm happy with my gains, I'm happy with, you know, the past few days, and I, you know, I don't wanna risk, you know, just irritating myself or anything like that. But like I said, members, they might be in different spots. They may have a different risk tolerance than I do. That's what makes trading challenging. That's why you can't just blindly follow somebody's strategy, quote unquote, because money management matters and we all are gonna be, implementing, well, at this point, never mind. Wow, look at that move. Now, I wish I could say that level twos would have said, yeah, and now you gotta go long right here because it's gonna go up four bucks in your favor. Unfortunately, though, that didn't quite happen. Well, I guess I'll get that out of the way. You, you saw the alert, 173.50, which now maybe it looks like it might come into play here. So we'll see what happens with it. 
But I'll go ahead and pause because I don't want this to be like a 40 minute video and then have you know a, a signal never even come into play. But if it looks like it is gonna get down there and break through 173.50, then I'll get the video rolling at that point. Well, at this point, um, the, the alert's no longer valid because the risk profile has shifted on it too much, and you know the, the logical place where, where the logical location of stop losses and such just doesn't really make it a worthwhile trade anymore at 173.50. So never mind. Like I said, uh, that's just how these live trade videos go. You never know what's going to happen, and at this point, uh, just too much has changed. And like I said, from a, a risk management perspective, um, you know, even if it comes down here and breaks through 173.50, and even if it goes all the way down here to 170, I don't care because from a, a risk perspective. It just doesn't make sense as of right now. Now that, that could change up a little bit depending on how the next couple of candles play out. But as of right now, yeah, just shorting a break of 173.50, uh, it's just not very valid. Although, like I said, we'll see how this candle right here forms. So I, I was gonna end the video, but let's actually see how this plays out here. So what I'm thinking here is, So we still want it that short, but now the new stop loss would be at 170. Oh, is that gonna work out the exact same way? Oh, it would. It would work out. All right, so actually that's still valid. I didn't realize that was still 174.50. Well, never mind. All right, this one's just not really playing ball as much as, well, it hasn't violated 174.50 yet. All right, I'm gonna pause. I don't want this to spin out of two control. But this this is, like I said, this is still, nope, never mind. All right, with that spike up, no longer interested in it. Well, I'll wrap things up here. For those of you, though, that are interested in getting alerts, joining uh, the community and you know trading alongside me, as you saw behind the scenes here, um, you saw things play out in real time. If you're interested in that, just go to claytrader.com forward slash team. And the way to approach that, and we'll use this pricing model, $99, which gives you three months, so right off the bat, that's not $99 per month. No, $99 for three months, which breaks down to $8.25 per week. So the question just becomes, if I invest $99 to join the community, do I believe I can get at least $8.25 per week of value? If you believe that you can, then I would love to have you join up. You will get a great return on your investment. Also, as far as how things work, there's the, the mobile app, so it's not like you have to stay change your computer or anything like that. You can stay in touch with anything, you know, wherever you are, so there's a nice little mobile app that comes with it. And then as far as this video, if you enjoy these live trade videos, please hit that like button. That's a very time efficient way to communicate that to me. Also, comments, questions, suggestions, please leave those down below. I do read comments, I will reply to them. And then finally, check out the channel as a whole, and if you like what you see, hopefully you decide to hit that subscribe button and become a subscriber to the channel. I would love to have you. But thanks for hanging out and hopefully you decide to uh, consider joining the team and coming alongside and trading with me. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.